supposed to be an exciting day towards our dreams and goals. At this point, I'm tired of dreaming. <laughs> like, if I'm being honest. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go and hang out with the kids, watch a little avatar before we start the day. <laughs> Patreon is live today, so I have a couple of thumbnails to get up and um, some comments to answer, but I'm so excited. I feel so good about it, so I'm going to go hang out with my babies today and get a lot of reading in today and feeling really good about all of this work I put in <laughs> to make sure that I am able to be in community with all of you without it sacrificing or compromising my goals in our homeschool. And life. We actually moved things around a little bit, getting ready to use the chalk wall. So we moved the boards over here and moved all of our maps into this space over here in our little geography corner. I think today we're going to start a little bit of our year of wonder. I really like this book, it's Classical Music to Enjoy Day by Day. It doesn't really let you start in the middle of the year though, or the end of the year. It's really meant to start on the first day of the year. So I don't know how we're gonna get around that little obstacle because it makes reference to some days that we haven't quite done before. So I'm trying to figure that out, but I'll probably start with that today. And then we're gonna continue on with Narnia. Have you guys ever read The Magician's Nephew? I only ever read the um, line, The Witch in the Wardrobe. So we are almost, we've made our way through more than half um, of The Magician's Nephew and we like it. Cameron cleaned his plant off yesterday, so I hung him back here. It is story time, so we're trying to select a book. Dozens of donuts. This one's super cute. Um, we've got Grandpa's Stories. The sky's above my eyes, so let's see which one they pick. Black coffee is in full effect right now. <laughs> so that I can make my way to some editing. While the kids work their way through lunch, I'm gonna to try to get this done. We visited another state park, trying to get started on our tiny little adventures and things that are coming for the new and improved and <laughs> revamped uh, Live and Learn Tour. So I'm going to edit the little bit of clips that I got from our last little trip to one of the Delaware State Parks so that I can include it in with this vlog because <laughs> I didn't vlog that whole day. Lums Pond State Park, and we're getting ready to go out on the boats, possibly, right? Yeah, you have to have your own boat, though. This little lady is more I'm interested, interested in, the in the paddle boat. In the paddle boat? But they don't want to get on the zip line. Is that not a zip line? It is a zip line. No. Yeah, I want to go on a <laughs> Okay, so we had to pause because Kendall said his neck was really itchy and we tried to give him something on the boat and um, he said it was still itching. So by the time we got off, put your neck up, it was all broken out. It's starting to get better already, I feel like, but I don't know if it was what they were disinfecting the equipment with or if it was something else. But um, Cameron's neck started to break out too so I don't know, but we gave him a dose of Benadryl and he's got some water, I rinsed it off and we're gonna see if it kind of calms down in a little bit and go from there. Right baby? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, good. 
So yeah, that's how that trip went. <laughs> One of the challenges that I have wrapping my mind around adventuring more together is these little mishaps, but I know that I'm not the only one. I know that there are plenty of other families out there with kiddos that have pretty decently severe allergies. So that was where our little trip kind of ended. It wasn't a full day's vlog, but I wanted to include it here. So. All right, so your friend is tired. It's supposed to be an exciting day. Our Patreon has launched all the hard work that we put in over the last month so that we could be um, ahead of the game with Patreon and making sure that it's not interrupting our school life and our school days and we can just maintain it and keep up with it and really enjoy the space this time. So it's supposed to be exciting um, because our Patreon launched, but I guess I'm just feeling like I've been putting a ton of work into making sure that we're consistent in our posting. I think before I thought that because I had a level of inconsistencies in posting videos that, you know, that was the reason why um, I'm not growing as much in numbers because y'all know how I feel about my personal growth. And then lately, for the last few months, I've been extremely consistent and just really trying to put in the work to structure our business such that we can move along in our research, move along in homeschool and life and just work towards our dreams and goals. And I'm tired. <laughs> At this point, I'm tired of dreaming. <laughs> like, like, if I'm being honest, I kind of sort of feel like I want to get on here and say that I'm quitting, but I'm not. I'm not going to quit because I do believe that this is the path that the Lord has us on and he's wanted us to share in these spaces. And so I'm going to keep doing that but just know that your friend is tired i feel like i'm tired of being a part of this rotating um reel of content and uh, i don't want to have to um do a bunch of things to stand out or to stick out or but just know that i spend so much time like <laughs> The time and effort and love I put into these videos and to the things that we share, it's a lot. And I don't say that to be like, you know, to make anybody feel bad for me or anything. But I just feel like um, there are less people talking about how much, you know, work goes into any given or any said dream. And so some days it's just... A lot of days is just really frustrating. And like I said, I know I'm gonna keep going, but it was a little disheartening to get through my whole day. I got through my school day, it was great. <laughs> Loved it. I think I've been putting a lot of systems in place to make sure that I can keep them my main priority and not let other things get in the way. Um, and so the school day was great. And you do all this work to get all these videos up and you post videos and immediately you know your analytics tell you that it's not doing well um, and it's frustrating it's frustrating because a lot of times I know that you guys reach out and say that you know you haven't seen us in your feed in a while but you have notifications you know your notification bell is on and I don't know it's frustrating and you know what do you do when you're not willing to jump over 18,000 hoops in order to be seen um, because that's not your goal. Like, I don't want to be seen by the masses. I just want to be seen by the people that are looking for the type of content that we share and the parts of our life that we share. YouTube was just a lot easier or a lot more authentic of a space back when I started <laughs> and in the days before. And I guess some parts of me wishes that I had more, like, wherewithal back then to do put in more effort and work uh, because then it was just an easier space to grow and to be um, shown to different people that might want to follow along on your journey. And now it's just the most, it's just so hard. And there's so many parts that I'm just not willing to give up. Like there's so many things I'm just not willing to give up. So Brian and I have been working um, on uh, just, chatting with brands working with brands is not really something that i've done in the past and it's something that i'm i'm open to but it has to be um authentic and real and what we need it to be and so we're working through that process and and excited 
about doing what's best for everybody that's involved. You as if you were us as creators and, and the brands as, you know, building their brand and business. But it's hard. It's hard because you could so, it would be so much easier to just follow the way that it's laid out and join in the way that things are laid out these days. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm in my feelings right now. It kind of sinks. So. No, Brian. No, I'm eating my feelings today. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's my piece. I said it. I let you guys in on what's currently going on. I'm not going anywhere, but my gosh, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to be gone right now, but I'm not going to do that because ultimately I'm here to document our journey um, in faith and love and homeschool and um, just learning these lessons, how to push forward. I want to include this because I know that it, whether it's in the near future or the future far away, when my kids look back on how I press through different parts of my life, I want them to see me um, persist, you know, because I believe that's what we're supposed to do, even when we don't get immediate results. Even if it's taking you years, <laughs> you know, like Noah was building that ark for the longest time and he had never even seen rain before. So I just want to keep going. And again, I'm not putting this out there for you guys to cheer me on necessarily. I just, if there's something that you're pressing through you feel like quitting and giving up and you feel like that every other week like can we do this together because <laughs> like, i feel the exact same that's what i have to say right now this is how our day went um it was a good day overall i'm gonna gather my emotions take it all off so i can celebrate with so there's that. Life is so full of lessons. And even if you don't exactly know what the lesson is right now. <laughs> our goal is to live and to learn. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.